everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included, everyone's favorite space colony management game. We're back. It's a new day, and we are busy bees trying to finish up our sleetweed farm. And um, also, I, I went ahead and started digging this area out because today is the day that we start working on a pepper farm to go with this sleetweed farm. Uh, and we're just going to make a small one. We don't need a lot of space here. I think the ratio, if I remember right, for sleep wheat to peppers is around five to one, give or take. So I think we have 68 pepper plants up here. So we're gonna put in about 15, 15 or so. I think that's fine. Oh, it'll be a little extra. We'll put in about 15 pepper plants down here. And we'll uh, we'll go ahead and get that started today. So let's, let's do it, shall we? So we're gonna go ahead while everyone's doing everything. Um, we're just going to go ahead and space these out a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six. So wait, one, one, two, three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Wait a second. If I do six and six is twelve. Hmm. All right. We want to, we want to plan around automation. That's the big thing. We want to be able to make sure that the auto sweeper can do as much work as possible for supplying these tiles. So let's just go ahead and put this here for right now and maybe we can figure out how we're going to manage this. It might actually build that. Okay, good, it's unreachable. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, what we wanna do is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this auto sweeper will be able to reach all of this stuff here. And then we'll be able to put in uh, the conveyor loaders here for shipping the um, the food and the seeds back out of the farm. I think that's fine. So that's eight and eight. Yeah, we'll put in 16. Why not? That'll be fine. That'll be a more than enough for what we want to do. Or the pepper plant is three tiles tall and we always have problems. Yeah, I'm going to leave this one open and then we'll just do the same thing over here. There we go. Look at that. That is a work of art. Okay, so let's do that then. We're gonna say conveyor loaders here and here. And auto super we'll we'll adjust this auto super location. But that gives us a good frame of reference for where we need to go. Now the pepper plant itself is three tiles tall, which means if we take into account the auto sweeper. I'm just gonna go there and there. That means that our floor is going to be somewhere in this neck of the woods, which means that we might need, hmm, we might just need like a little like step up. You know what I might do? I'll just make a little, a little, a little hop, skip, and a jump here. I think that's okay. You know, and then we'll insight this. Oh, you know what? We built this all in one tile off. Okay, hold up. Uh, no, we didn't. All right, this is fine. Cool. Well, this looks really good, actually. Let's go ahead and build this out. We'll let them get started on this. And can we reach this from the bottom? Well, we can. All right, so we can build that from the underside. They can come in and build this in from the top side. We're gonna need a station. We're gonna need a farm station in here because we like to have these things. Yeah. It's the simple things in life. We like to have a station and uh, a, a manual airlock. There we go. Perfect. The other things that we're going to need to build are things like conveyor rail. We're going to have to ship this food out of here, which we already have a food line, coincidentally, right here. We'll go ahead and position that so that way you can join up with the food line that's taking the sleet wheat after it gets grown and connects that in. Great. And then we're going to need a little bit of power. We'll go ahead and Position this. This actually might mean that our power over here is gonna be over. Goodness, how much do we have down here? Can we peel off one or two things? Ooh, man. That's unfortunate. So we might actually need to run. Oh, we can borrow a little bit of power from over here. Uh, such a bummer. We might need to put another transformer in. You know what? Why don't we? <laughs> why don't we take this out? We'll extend this down one. We'll put in uh, four transformers right here and it can handle all this. Yeah, and this is totally like killing my horizontal 
our network, but whatever. It is what it is. Cool. All right. Well, let's go ahead and let them build this. And that should be all good. Um, at some point in time, too, we also need to think about how we're going to run the fluid for up here. So what I would like to do is, and this is going to require a little bit of work on our part, what we want to do is we, I want to be able to loop this fluid up here and use it to kind of like keep all of this, this tile warm. We're going to use it to keep the farm warm itself. You know, so we'll just like loop it through here and then we'll keep this whole room kind of like nice and toasty, I think. Or at least where it matters, which is right by the hydroponic farm tiles. And we can loop that around. Um, I'm not gonna put in these pipes because we're gonna need to put in a little bit of automation here for this. Uh, actually, hold on a second. Maybe what we'll do is we'll put it behind here. So that's the next thing we're gonna have to solve. I'm gonna let this duplicate finish this work here and we're gonna shave this floor off and we're gonna extend this layer down a little bit. Yeah, we'll put it over here, I guess. Okay. So we're gonna want a couple of things over in this area. Um, how do we wanna do this? So, and this is gonna have a lot of plumbing coming through here anyway due to all of this stuff. So maybe, maybe I will put it over here. Okay, let's cancel these pipes real quick and we'll, we'll figure out how we're gonna do this. Liquid pipes, cancel these real fast. I'm really tempted to move all of this over a little bit and center in the room and then we can put stuff right in here. Should we do that? Let's see here, what do we want? We're gonna need two tanks, right? We're gonna need we're gonna need a warming pit. We're gonna need an, a cold fluid tank. So that way, if it gets too warm, which has happened to us in the past, actually, then we want to be able to um, cool it back down. So we'll have a, let's see here. We'll have a tepidizer in a, in a tank and we're just gonna use that to warm up the fluid that's running through. And then for, if it gets too warm, then we'll, uh, what? What's the temperature of our polluted water right now? Right now it is 29 degrees. And where are our sources of polluted water coming from? We have a cool slush geyser, which is, that's gonna be cold. So that's not gonna be an issue. This polluted water vent is kicking out water at 30 degrees. So right now all of the polluted water sources feeding into our storage tank right now are below the temperature that we would want to run the pepper farm at anyway. So I think what we'll do is we'll worry about the tank blending later, but right in this area here, we'll make a little warming chamber for that fluid. And it can like just align with the current floors that we already have because that's what we want. We want these nice dandy straight lines. Ooh. Great. All right, so we'll let them build all this out. And then I think in here, so our intake or new fluid into the system, I think is going to be right here. The only caveat would be is if it, it got too cold in this area and we would want to send it back out. And maybe that's what I'll do over in here in this area. So, or we could do both right here. Why not? Yeah, we'll do both right here. So if, let's go ahead and put in a couple of things. We're gonna need a shutoff valve. And we're gonna need a thermo sensor. Actually, let's move this over a little bit and give ourselves some extra space. We'll put the thermo sensor like right here and we'll put the shutoff right next to the uh, farm station. Okay, so if, yeah, because we're going to need a bridge, right? That's kind of like, dang, we don't really have enough room for this. I'm realizing right now we don't have enough room. Oh man, we're like off one. 
Uh, we could move the farm station. I like it in the corner though. What if we just went down? Okay, if it's a fluid we want to keep in here, we'll keep it traveling to the left. We need to put this in here to put control the flow. So if this is going to bring new fluid in, right? Yeah. I guess I'll put it here. All right, it's not the most elegant solution, but all right, so this pipe's gonna come around. We're gonna check the temperature. Actually, we'll bring it all the way over here. We're gonna check the temperature. If it's the temperature we wanna keep, we're gonna run it into this bridge. This bridge is gonna exit here. It's gonna run flow through the output port of this bridge, giving the fluid in the loop the priority. And we will let it continue on its journey into the farm. And then it'll just keep on looping right around. Now. Um, if it's a fluid that we we want to actually send out, let's go ahead and run insulated pipe. That insulated pipe is going to run to a cooling tank or, or a warming tank for that fluid. And then this right here is going to be for new warm fluid that we want to run back into the system. Okay, which means I think. I'm gonna have to like zigzag this. Okay, so I wanna keep this area free over here because we're gonna have pipes and things coming through here. So let's put the warming tank over in here. We're gonna need some insulated tile. I'm gonna put it right here on this wall, right? We're gonna need a tepidizer. It doesn't need to be too big. Uh, we could put it, could we put it right here on the bottom actually? Hold on a second, cancel this. If we put the tepidizer right here, what are we looking at? It would warm horizontally and then it would take it back up. Mm. I think that'll be that'll be fine. We don't need all this space, right? We'll already have what 12 tiles of water. Let's do it. I'm gonna build this out of iron ore because I can. And, or do we want 16 tiles of water? Let's make it a little bit bigger. We'll give ourselves a little bit of extra mass, a little bit of extra water and stuff in here that we're gonna fill it up. Okay, let's go ahead and seal this thing off. We're gonna insulate it all the way around with the exception of, we're gonna need an airflow tile or two in here maybe. Well, we're gonna fill this up. Let's fill this up with water and then we won't have to worry about it. So let's take this out. We're gonna need bottle emptiers, or I guess what we could do is just put liquid vents here. Where's our nearest water source? So our water is down here. If we run that water up, fill this area, then... We'll insulate all of this um, and actually cancel this just so we can get in here and do a little bit of work. And uh, we'll start filling this up. So I could just put the liquid vent in here, but I want to keep this area free for pipes. So we'll put, just put a valve here and we'll run a water pipe up here and start filling this area up. Okay, cool. Excellent. All right, so that can get put in. We'll leave this open for a little while just so that we don't have an air pocket sitting over here in the corner. Let's go ahead and make sure to sweep all this, get this out of here. I'm also gonna go ahead and put in the floor underneath. And then I can just dig all this out. It needs to come out of here anyway at some point. So I might as well just dig it all out now. And let's see here, what else do we need? All right, so now that that's done, we know that pitcher pepper plants require polluted water. So we're gonna have to run some radiant pipe in here. And I guess we do need to bring new fluid back in, right? So how do we wanna do this? Do we just put a tank up here and then that way we kind of have an eyeball? 
if our polluted water ever runs dry, we'll know about it. We were talking about having to mix temperatures anyway. So maybe what we'll do is we'll, um, yeah, I'm gonna put a tank here. We'll just start with that one. And then when we get to the point where we need, to, if we ever need to cool it down, we have room. We can put another tank or two in here and blend temperatures together uh, before inserting it back into the system. Okay, cool. Well, let's see here. Uh, what was our problem here? Let's get all of the construction work done. This can all get built. And the temperature is, if it is above, all right, if it is below 30, what do we want to do? 38 degrees? We want to run the, keep this climate controlled area around 38 degrees, I think. If it's below 38 degrees, we're going to run it out back down into the warming chamber. And then it can come back in normally. All right. All right, cool. So that means, you know what I'm going to do? Actually, I have a great idea. I'm going to put a bridge, like, here, I guess. Hmm. This is, we're going to have some pipes coming through here. Um, I'm going to put a bridge here. And the reason why is, while this is going to be the fluid coming into the system, okay, that's going to be polluted water coming in from our storage area. This right here, we want to prioritize fluid that needs to be warmed back up. So let's go ahead and use this pipe. It's going to come across here and we're going to run it right down into that bridge area there. Perfect. And actually this is here. Let's, let's change this just so that way <laughs> it's more reflective of what's actually going to be here at some point. All right, so we'll put a straight pipe right through here, and that's going to run this section. Perfect. And then all we need to do is decide how we're going to run this warmed fluid back into the pipe. Now, what we could do is actually lower this. Why don't we do that? Why don't we lower this down? We can conceal all this piping in the wall. There we go. Something like that. And I'm, let's drag this pipe out into here for the time being. And actually, this pipe, side note, can very much just be normal pipe. It does not need to be insulated because we already know it's the right temperature. And if it helps keep this room warm, great. And if it's not the right temperature later, cool, we'll send it back down to get warmed up. Great. Okay, so now let's figure out how we're going to do this part. So here, we're going to have fluid coming out of the tank that we want to warm. So I think what we'll do, we'll just do a little snake pattern here. And we do it a little bit different so that way... Bang. We want to end... Okay, fine. We'll be that way. How about we do... <laughs> How about we go like this? That could go right up there. Cool. To be insulated. Yep. Okay. Great. I like this. Interesting. We haven't done it this way. All right. Cool. We've done similar, but we haven't done quite, quite this setup. Try something new. All right. And we're gonna need some power. We'll go ahead and just run this power line straight over here for right now. And all this other power is in, but we can, this is all accessible to us anyway, so it's not too big of a deal. We'll go ahead and put on all of this power line as well. Great. Okay. Build all the things, do all the stuff, get all this put in. And also while we're at it, let's get all of this, this digging done. This can all come out of here. Okay, great. Cool gang. Well, this is a pretty simple pepper farm at the end of the day. Do we have any other work that we need to do? Kind of like in this area. If we do, I guess, because this is going to be three tiles thick. So I just want to make sure before I seal this up. Power. Check. Plumbing. Check. Uh, do we need to put... We don't need to put a bridge in here to control flow, do we? Am 
might put one in right here just to keep it the direction going like from left to right and hopefully nothing backflows through here it shouldn't be an issue but i don't know i'm a little superstitious on on it and it's, it's not gonna hurt anything cool that can get put in um anything else all right cool well if that's it then we can start insulating this off Not those tiles though. Let's light this all off. And I think that's it. I think I think that's about it. Alright. Excellent. Alright, our water's coming in. Perfect. Do we have enough gold? Oh god. Oh no. This isn't we don't want lead. Hold on a second. We want gold. Oh, we don't have enough gold. Okay. Alright, well. We might need to put this on hold for a moment. Um, all right, well, we're going to have to go up to space. We're going to have to get some gold amalgam. Oh, geez. Okay, well, <laughs> here we go again. Let's see if we can't. Oh, God. It happens every time. There should be enough in here for what we want to do, right? Maybe we'll get some in the printing pod. Nope. But we'll take the zomlets. Thank you very much. Alright. I think the other thing that I want to do is... I might move all of these composts and stick them right in this area. And then we'll put some auto supers in. And those composts... Well... That compost dirt can actually feed the sleet wheat farm. It's not going to be enough for what we need. But it would be a start anyway. I think I accidentally canceled building that power wire. All right, cycle 437 is in the books as we progress through our journey, which is kind of nice. Uh, we're taking it slow and steady. We're not in the mood to rush. I'm, we're not speed running here. Well, we'll just go ahead and get this all put together. Uh, anything else? So while we're waiting for all those things, let's let's discuss how we're going to do this power situation. I think, yeah, we might extend this down a little bit, and I'll just move these trans... I really don't want to do this, but we're going to extend these transformers down unless there's power here. Do we have... Do we have enough power that we can borrow? Potential load, 1,800 watts. Potential load, 1,800 watts. Potential load, 1800 as well. Um, we need to add one, two, and then we need uh, 960 down here. Okay, so we pretty much do need another another power line. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. We'll, we'll reluctantly add another section. Hopefully this is the last. And, all right. Oh, this is going to mess up these power lines, aren't it? Isn't it? Blah. Mm, okay, maybe we can leave this one open for right now. I didn't really want to put them down here. Okay, how else could we do this real quick? We could just run another transformer power line right down this hallway, all the way down here. Or... God, I really don't want to put in a power spline on the right-hand side, but it's becoming that way, isn't it? Um, how else can we do this? Yeah, we could run one right down the hallway here. This isn't going to hurt anything. Let's do it. This can come all the way over into here. Oh, look at this. It actually lines up perfectly. Thing we'll need to do then is dig out a little bit of this area so we can get in here. It's too bad. We're gonna lose. Uh, we might be able to build these without digging them out. Yeah, I think so. All right. We can save those peppers. I'm sure. Have we been amassing like peppers from those uh, 
from those peppers and we've just been harvesting them. Yeah, we got 132 kilograms. We have sleaweed too, technically. All right, cool. Well, that means I think I'm gonna let's turn our attention to this little section over here. So how do we want to do? Oh, yeah. How are we gonna do this little section here? Of course, I'm getting, sorry guys, getting pinged on, <laughs> on Steam here. Um, all right, let's see. I can't take these ladders out. And then let's fix this real quick. Deconstruct this. I think we've been accidentally, actually cancel that. Take this wire out. Uh, we've been accidentally pumping a little bit too much stuff out of our, our base here. So I'm gonna put in an AND gate. And we're just going to fix this automation. Oh, let's hook that up. So we want to basically say if this is carbon dioxide and the pressure is over a certain amount, then we're going to pump this out. So if it's if it's three tiles tall of CO2, then we're, we'll, we'll pump it out. Did we turn this off even? No, it's still down here like this. That's a lot of CO2, actually. Since we're gonna do pressure sensor, why don't we just do something like this instead? There we go. Okay, they can put that in. Um, we didn't build that out of gold, did we? Okay, good, we did not. And then let's go up here and make sure that nobody, oh God. Nolan Veth. These guys, you cannot leave them alone for a second in space. I tell you what. This is just like a massive death trap up here. You know, it would be really nice if we could get, have we done the research yet for the bunker tiles and stuff like that? I don't think so. Oh, actually maybe we have. Well, if that's the case, then it w I might actually put a ladder in up top and we can start looking at just framing off this a little bit so it's a little bit safer. <laughs> Doesn't have to be so precarious all the time, you know? Sandlikin's on the job. Here, disable auto repair. If these break, we'll come up here and manually fix them. It's fine. All right, we'll let them do that. How is this looking down here? Oh God, okay, so we're overflowing. Um, let's go ahead real quick. Put some automation on this and shut this vent. We'll have to mop this up real quick again, but that's okay. And um, and then we need this gold, actually. So let's go up into space. We'll fetch a little bit of gold. There we go. I'm gonna build this one first and then we'll connect it. So that way it's not trying to replace this tile with gold. All right, let's make sure nobody comes up here and gets stuck again. I'm sure our diggers are going to do something stupid. All right, well, I will, um, I'll work on just digging this out and getting some, some gold for us to work with. So that way we have all the resources we need. Hmm, actually, hop, hop, hop. Okay, this is still risky, but you know what? We need, the, we need the materials, gang, you know? So hopefully they can come up here and do this. What else is everybody working on here? We have people. Oh, here comes a bunch of diggers. Just put it, just put in the automation wire. <laughs> just put in the automation wire so the vent closes. <laughs> There we go. Okay. All right. So then let's just go ahead and mop this up a little bit. Clean this up. And same thing with this tile as well. Get this cleaned up. And we'll leave this open so we can put in the future pipes that need to go in there. That can go. All right, cool. Um, this looks really good, gang. 
I'm really happy with this. Um, anything, anything else? Anything else that needs to get done? We have a few insulated tiles that we need to build. We'll go ahead and put, put those in. And... Um, we were trying to figure out how we're going to do this. Okay, so they put in... They put in this whole power line. This is amazing. Oh, this is great. Excellent. Thanks so much. All you hard, hard dedicated workers. We really appreciate your service. Shall we... We'll just make this dedicated for this whole area. Yeah, we'll make we'll just make this dedicated power for everything going on in this little region. That's fine. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, let's make sure nobody gets stuck here. There's a meteor shower that came in. Lokrin's on the job. We do have. We are getting little gold. Flex popping down here. Hopefully somebody comes up here and is doing that. Let's go check the priority on the metal refinery that's responsible for gold, shall we? And we'll make sure that that is still a priority. We might have messed it up, to be honest. Gold amalgam, seven. No, let's get this gold flowing here. sure that they're working on that and you know what I'm really tempted to do as well is where is that thing metal refinery okay you know what I might do just to um to help this thing out a little bit I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a storage bin up here and this storage bin is gonna be responsible for holding gold amalgam so that way we we people will just store it automatically. We don't need to worry about it, regardless of what's going on with the refinery. We'll get that chucked in there. And that will be its sole responsibility. We have stress of 10% why. It was probably Locrin in space. So that's looking really good. Alright, well, fun times in the pepper farm area here. It's nice that we got a lot of this done. Go ahead and seal that off. That looks really good. Anything else? Anything else? Okay, so um, thinking forward a little bit. So we're going to bring all of this online here very soon. Peppers will bring up online actually almost immediately once we get the material to finish this looped pipe for the polluted water to make sure that it's the right temperature and whatnot. Oh, we do need a some automation here, don't we? So let's go ahead and put that in. We need a thermo sensor in here and we just want to turn off this tepidizer we only want to run we want to keep this tank like i don't know what like set to 39 degrees maybe 38 39 degrees i think that'll be good All right if it's below let's see here if it's below, if it's below 37, uh, 36, 37. If it's below 37, send it to get warmed and we'll set this tank to 38. That's what we'll do. It's a really narrow window, but it should be fine. All right, let's keep an eyeball on guys in space. Are we doing okay? How are we doing on this gold? Are they starting to make it? No, not quite yet. Maybe I can't get the storage bin done, and I think this is a good spot to stop for the day. Well, um, I'll go ahead and, before next episode. I'll dig out some stuff in space and get us a bunch of gold amalgam, and then we can get as, a whole bunch more gold here, ready to go. And we can get those insulated tile or those uh, radiant pipes installed. You know. Great, so this, oh, we got 245. We can put in a couple more tiles anyway. Um, metal, we want raw mineral, or that's not right. We want, why am I completely overlooking what I'm looking for? 
It's not refined. Oh my god. I'm I'm already done for the day. Alright, I'm gonna set this to nine. If there's gold amalgam on the map, just consolidate it all in the storage bin. Actually, we'll set this to an eight. Because we're not savages. Okay, cool. I think that is pretty close to where we're going to be for today. Um one, two, three. I'm just gonna start queuing these up as we get gold. We'll keep that, keep that going, and they're, they'll be working on this for a while. Perfect. All right, gang. Well, um, that about wraps things up for today's episode. A big shout out to all my subscribers and the people who donate to the channel in the stream. Without you, we wouldn't be able to do this. If you're enjoying this series, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to be notified of future videos. But um, other than that, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.